As promised, I am bringing you the most recent developments of the second stimulus check proposals. Let's go over everything. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Finance Kid. As always, I'm Dion and in this video I want to go over the latest news around the $2,000 per month proposal as a second stimulus check package for Americans and what the lawmakers are tinkering with. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. If you have not, please consider subscribing as there will be more updates later as the news develops about the second stimulus check situation. Also, some personal financial tips in the future. Well, the Congress stimulus phase four proposals will most likely include some tax policies. If you've seen my last stimulus check update videos, then you're aware that some lawmakers were moving away from direct payments for people and more towards boosting businesses in different ways so the economy can jumpstart. As the president's administration and lawmakers are working together to potentially assemble another stimulus package, there are a number of tax measures they have been proposed by various members. Another thing which is interesting is that by the time this package is outlined and ready to execute, a lot of states will have reopened already, which should also speed up the economic bounce back from the devastating blow we've all seen during this pandemic. So as lawmakers are shifting away from direct payments, as it seems lately, the focus has shifted more towards pro-growth policies. Former senior economic advisor Steve Moore recently shot down talks of investing in infrastructure as one possible measure, which has been mentioned by the president on multiple occasions saying that there should be no more spending. In addition, we already know about the payroll tax cut that the president was suggesting. And here's what Moore said about that. I think that's going to be the big battle in the weeks ahead. Do we do a payroll tax cut or do we do more government spending? Just to clarify here, a suspension of the payroll tax would incentivize employers to hire more workers by reducing their payroll costs, while at the same time giving employees a boost in their paychecks. So in a way, it's a win-win for both the employee and the employer. Another tax measure that was recently suggested was the full immediate expensing. In an effort to assure the US companies move production back home, Larry Kudlow, the White House economic advisor, said that one pro-growth policy he would like to pursue is an expansion of the 100% immediate expenses. And here's what Kudlow exactly said. 100% immediate expensing across the board. Plant, equipment, intellectual property, structures, renovations. In other words, if we had 100% immediate expensing, we would literally pay the moving costs of American companies from China back to the US which again, sounds great if we can bring some manufacturers from Asia back home, but that will be a long and slow process. Not very beneficial for those struggling families right now. Let me know down in the comments if something like that would have any benefit to you personally. Next proposed tax incentive is the deduction for corporate business meals and entertainment. The president advocated recently for bringing back a deduction for business meals and entertainment in an effort to restore the restaurant sector, which has taken a crushing hit, as we already know, because most restaurants were closed to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. This is something that, again, I could see helping the working people and business owners as it will allow them more deductions on their tax returns. However, how does that help the people that lose their jobs? Over 30 million of them as we know so far. And lastly, another recent proposal was the limit corporate liability after reopening. It has been a concern for a lot of companies that as they reopen, if people get sick, the businesses could face a lawsuit. Steve Moore said that providing a blanket shield to employers 
when they start rehiring workers is essential to the recovery because they cannot be sued by lawyers every time a worker falls ill. Personally, I am very much against that policy. If you as a business decide to reopen, you need to take all measures necessary to protect your employees' health. And if someone was to get sick while at work, by all means, you will take responsibility for that as a business owner. Do you agree that a business should have a blanket shield and not be sued if employees get sick with the virus while at work? Let me know down in the comments. So, those are the most recent developments and the proposals about phase four of stimulus assistance. As you can see, and as I mentioned in previous videos as well, the focus is shifting towards businesses and tax cuts more than assisting individuals in providing stimulus direct payments. We'll still have to wait and see what the final bill will look like. I hope this video was informative and provided some value to you. Please subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Like and share the video. Let other people see it as well. Thank you for pushing your financial mindset towards a better reality. Until next time, stay positive, master your finances, and take a good care of yourself and those around you.